Okay, so centered average is pretty easy to solve if we start with our big diff solution. And so I'm actually just going to copy and paste that code. And uh, all I'm really going to do is a couple of maybe like three changes. So I'm going to add in a sum tracker because anytime you take an average, you want to know what the total is. And it really doesn't matter. You do this at the top of the loop, the bottom, the middle, but we just want to add every value up. So sum plus equals nums i. Uh, then I'll know at the end of this loop what the total sum is. Typically, if I was doing an average, I would divide the sum by everything uh, <clears throat> that was there, like how many items there were. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently on this problem. They want me to take away the largest and smallest values. Make sure you put parentheses around that so the entire thing is part of your numerator. Uh, now, at that point, if I'm doing a sum, usually I would divide by the length, like how many items there were. But remember, I took two of those items away, the largest and the smallest. So the number of items that contributed to this sum decreased by two. And so that's going to affect the average. Now, typically when I'm doing an average, I'm always very careful to introduce a double. But this problem came out and explicitly said, use int division. Um, and only if we're told, you know, explicitly to do that and the return type is int, so we can't return a double. That's why I'm not going to actually introduce a double to this. And uh, yeah, looks good. So really just a couple of changes to the big difference. We tracked the sum um, and then in the end, we changed our return.